Joining us for the news at six, I'm Dawn Baker. Mike Sela has the night off. Continuing our breaking news coverage, Alec Murdoch, who is already set to serve back to back life sentences for murdering his wife and son, is now set to serve 40 years in prison for stealing millions of dollars from his law clients and partners. This is separate from his murder convictions in state court. Our Tyler Mannion was in the Charleston courthouse today where cameras were not allowed. He sat just two rows behind Alec Murdoch as the federal sentence was passed down. The U.S. Attorney for the District of South Carolina said following court that Alec Murdoch deserved every day he got. All 14,600 of them that go into this 40 year prison sentence. Murdoch's attorney, meanwhile, Jim Griffin, saying that he and his client are ready to move on from these financial crimes. His client, though, at age 55, will likely have to do that from behind bars the rest of his life. Inside federal court, Judge Richard Gergel said Murdoch seduced others to help him steal millions from society's most vulnerable people. The judge going on to say he hopes his sentence deters anyone from acting the way Murdoch did. A handful of the people the convicted killer stole from looked him in the eye and told him they had a godly love for him. Murdoch responding multiple times, I love you. We caught up with those victims after those interactions. I'm glad that this journey has come to an end. I pray that this would be my last time having to go into a courtroom because it's like a repeated cycle in my life. Pamela Pinckney has had to stand in front of judges and relive the worst part of her life for months. Monday, Judge Gergel ordering Murdoch to pay $8,762,731.88 in restitution to victims like Pinckney. But she tells us that's not what this is about. It's not about the money. It's about what we lost. I lost my son. That would never be replaced. Alec Murdoch said he understands that people would think he's just sorry for being caught and not sorry for his actions. But while blaming a drug addiction, he said he knew what he did to these people was wrong and that that theft now fills him with remorse. An attorney for several of the victims says that doesn't do much. Alec will never, ever be able to pay anybody he hurt a smidgen of what they truly deserve. Murdoch's attorney tells us he'll ask Alec whether or not he wants to appeal this 40 year prison sentence sometime after court wrapped on Monday. As soon as we get the information on if they will do that or not, We'll let you know on air and online at WTOC.com. But for now, we're reporting from the federal courthouse in Charleston. Tyler Mannion, WTOC News. Well, you can find all this new information on our website, WTOC.com. We also have more on all the cases surrounding Murdoch and his family. Just look for the Murdoch case page under the news tab. A teen beach party leaves one person shot and another injured on Hilton Head Island last night. New at six, two teenagers who say they were victims of a shooting are talking with WTOC. Flynn Snyder is live at the Caligny Beach with new details. Flynn, what did they tell?